All right, I really need to know what does Popovich have to say for himself after this horrendous loss? Popovich is your fault. Obviously, it's Popovich's fault. Everyone says it's Pop's fault. Pop, what do you have to say for yourself, my boy? I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, so my head still hurts. I don't feel well, but we're going to talk about this video. Um, so I have not seen this at, at, or any of it at all. Um, I actually saw this on Twitter and it says nobody likes to lose, but they're getting smarter each game. And I saw quite a few Spurs fans uh, kind of talking trash about this whole thing. I have not watched any of it. I haven't watched a second of it. Okay. I'm not lying to you. I've not seen any of this, but this quote right here, I couldn't agree more. Um, so at, let me just say this really quick. Like I said, I was out of town. I didn't get a chance to see all the games this, this, this past weekend. I think we had one Friday and then sunday I, I i watched them after the fact especially the one on sunday i watched it after the fact and i was very confused because i got the impression just from how people were reacting was that game was absolutely horrid and the spurs blew it they were trash they're garbage it was one of the worst losses of the season and if you're going to lose I like losing like that. That was a game where you could actually take something out of it. It wasn't just this crazy 40, 50 point blowout where you just take nothing from it and everything was just awful. And it basically is just like, look, we gotta we gotta do the fundamentals before we can even talk about what to improve at this point. Uh, we can't go back to ground zero, all right? We can't go back to AAU. Like we we gotta <laughs> we we gotta just chalk that up as you get your guys your your mind was not in that game and we just we just stunk it up. Uh, but that's not the case. I think that a lot of these losses that the Spurs have experienced have been pretty decent losses and not as terrible as we saw last season. I thought that there's a lot that you can take from this past game. I thought that it was one of our most complete games. Wimby almost had a triple double uh, with seven assists, which is insane. I thought Jeremy Sohan looked pretty comfortable or more comfortable at that point guard position than previously. Uh, I mean, that that shot by Devin Fassell on two guys was absolutely nasty. I was like, oh, my God, his dead eye is getting even better. <laughs> I mean, that was a you're not stopping me type of shot. Uh, so it was a lot to take from it. And I know a lot of people harped on how bad Keldon Johnson was, which Keldon Johnson, he has those games where he looks good for the majority of it. But if the get, if the ball is in his hands in late game situations, 10% 10, 10 of the time he'll make something happen and the other 90% he he's just gonna he's gonna he's gonna mess it up um and that and that's just because of his mindset he has quite a bit of tunnel vision sometimes and he's like I'm just gonna go and that's not winning basketball sometimes and that's fine you know I'm not an NBA player okay I'm not I'm not I'm not great at basketball right, Keldon would kill me in basketball but I will say um from from my couch watching he he could have he he got to stop <laughs> he got he got to stop okay I don't think it'll take a professional to say Keldon don't 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 do too much when the ball is in your hands late in late game situations I mean crunch time he 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 messed it up quite a bit but overall I thought that you know guys that we they were who we thought they were like Keldon Johnson he did his thing and then you know messed up at the end yet yeah, that's going to be a continuous issue like we're going to have to have uh, stars so they can have the ball in their hands at the end whatever all good uh Devin Fussell did great Wimby I thought he did he did well I think that maybe he checked checked up a few shots that you know ill-advised but he's still finding himself you know it's all good I think overall the team did well so let's see what Popovich has to say those are my thoughts I know I ranted about that for long enough uh let's go ahead oh god dude no no closed caption all right well we're gonna speed it up because Pop talks pretty slow sometimes Well, it's a championship team, uh, and I uh, thought our guys were great. You know, too many mistakes, uh, a little bit of sloppiness on some passes, it creates some turnovers, some undisciplined fouls, and it adds up. Uh, that's where we want to be, you know, more discipline, which would mean fewer undisciplined fouls, you know, uh, fewer turnovers. And some of them were unforced because of the passes we tried to make. Uh, but the effort is there. I can see the wheels turning. Uh, they understand uh, different situations and who's on the court and this and that. Uh, they're learning about each other, so I was real proud of them what they what they did tonight. Nobody likes to lose, uh, but they're getting smarter with each game. What did you think about Keldon That's what's up. Well, he, he... Oh wait, wait a minute. What did he say about Keldon? Hold on. Sorry. Oh, Keldon's work on the glass. Never mind. 
well, he, he made an effort to do that. You know, we have to have our small guys, you know, we call gang rebounding. Uh, but th that's important. The ones, twos, and threes can get boards too, just like the big guys. So uh, he took that seriously and, and did a good job. And how do you think the second unit helped him together? He did. Third? Well, it, uh, I think, you know, Malachi warmed up to it. Uh, you know, I think he was a little bit uh, just tentative when he first, and as the game went along, uh, he got into it. You know, a young kid, like, he doesn't want to make a mistake. He wants to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, but he also has to play and be himself, and I thought he did that. As Popovich done a phenomenal job with Malachi. This, this is one of those things where he just understands his players so well because Malachi is definitely one of those guys very similar to uh, Derek White where he's not immensely confident. And that I think that actually goes back to him being a kid and being terrible at basketball starting off. He was really bad, and he was continuously having to prove himself uh, uh, and get better and better and better naturally. He wasn't one of those guys that, like, from a super young age, he was good at basketball. When he started playing, he was actually really bad. And you can go back and watch, you know, listen to the stories or read the stories or whatever up on Malachi's uh, uh, history. We got we had a video on it way back. You can try to find it. Um, but yeah, yeah, Malachi was terrible at basketball. So it's it's really nice uh, to see him having a coach like Popovich who understands that he's the type of player that's going to get down on himself quite a bit and and you have to kind of help build him up and also put a fire underneath him i guarantee you in the next few years you're going to see popovich on malachi the same way he was on danny green like it's going to be that type of dynamic i bet um but it's going to be pretty cool um and, and malachi definitely needs that confidence instilled in him the same way Derek white needed that confidence instilled with him um it, it's it's just that whole imposter syndrome uh, going on with him so he'll be all right though as his minutes went along well i mean that that they'd be prepared for that from the beginning i mean it, they know that somebody we're going to probably go to just like they're going to go to bam or to jimmy or whatever that's just what you do but uh the difference in the game down the stretch is their physicality and yeah we didn't physical didn't, game we, we didn't punch back we did not punch back and I was actually a little shocked that the Spurs didn't punch back because um, usually that's what we do. We settle for a lot of threes, and that's not really like us. Usually we we, we fight back. Uh, you know, a, a young team against a team that's also physically stronger uh, is going to get a little bit on their heels. Things are going to slow down a little bit. You don't have the same movement, and then the defense can really have the advantage. But that's happened to us before, and it's something we have to deal with. Oh, he was great. Josh Richardson like, killed He was us. like the, the old guy on our team. I mean, he's not that old, but compared to everybody else on the team, he was like the, the father kind of deal. But, uh, he was great fun, great teammate, and uh, he's landed in a great place. Cool. Good stuff. Great stuff. Whoa, Wimby looks sad. We ain't going to watch that. Wait, maybe a little bit. Oh, he looked exhausted. Did they, like, did he literally, like, have to do this interview right after? Zion, Zion Williamson did an interview recently and everyone was making fun of how like hard he was breathing but it's like are they literally interviewing like seconds after what the heck what was the physicality like down the stretch that Miami brought to the game and how do you feel like you guys counted that I mean it was uh it was okay it's, it's a very experienced team went to the finals where uh, we got many things to, to correct yeah, only a few teams are going to have. This was a terrible time to get Wimby. I'm not watching this. Poor Wimby. Dude, he can't even talk. Like, come on. Come on. Give him a second. Can we just give him a few minutes before we start asking him a bunch of questions? What the heck, dude? Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I was happy with the team. I thought they did fine. Uh, some Spurs fans, I, I just didn't understand where everyone was angry about it. I was expecting some like major collapse, but no, it just looked like we got broken down by a better team, and that's fine. Like that's gonna happen at least for the next couple years. So I don't know. Good stuff though. Anyways, I'll give it you guys later. Till next time. Bye.